Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, August the 2nd. It's the 11th week after Pentecost and week 5 in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service. Psalm 78 verses 1 through 39 and John chapter 1 verse 19 to 28. And please join me in singing verse 7 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. God, you have proved our suffering souls to make our graces shine. So silver bears the burning coals the metal to refine. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, hear my law, O my people. Listen to the words of my mouth. Hallelujah, Psalm 78, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, hear my law, O my people. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will tell you a parable. I will tell you hidden stories of old. The stories we have heard and known that our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from our children. We will tell the generations to come. The praises of our God, of our God's strength, and the wonderful works that God has done. For God established a decree in Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and appointed a law in Israel, and commanded our ancestors to make them known to their children, that the generations to come might know them and declare them to their own children, that they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep God's commandments, and might not be as their ancestors a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose hearts went astray and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. The children of Ephraim turned back in the day of battle. They broke the covenant of God and refused to walk in God's law. They forgot God's works and the wonders they had seen. Marvelous things God did in the sight of their ancestors, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. God divided the sea and they passed through, and the waters stood in a heap, guiding them by day with a cloud and at night with fire. God split the rock in the wilderness and gave them water out of the great depths. God brought streams out of the rock and caused the water to run down like rivers. Yet they sinned more and more, provoking the Most High in the wilderness, and they tempted God in their hearts by asking for meat that they craved. They even spoke against God. They said, can God set a table in the wilderness? Look, God struck the rock and waters gushed and the streams overflowed. But can God give bread also? Can God provide meat for the people? You heard this and were angry. And so a fire was kindled against Jacob and your anger rose against Israel because they had no faith in you no trust in your salvation. Though you had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven and had rained down manna on them to eat and had given them the bread of heaven. Mere mortals ate the bread of angels. You sent them meat in abundance and you caused an east wind to blow in the heaven and brought in the south wind. And flesh rained down on them like dust, and feathered fowl like the sand of the sea. And you let it fall in the midst of their camp, all around their tents. And so they ate and were filled. For you gave them their desires, but that did not stop their lust, while the meat was still in their mouths. Your wrath, O God, came upon them and slew the fattest, and smote the chosen of Israel. For all this they sinned still, and did not believe in your wondrous works. And so their days were ended in a breath, and their years in sudden ruin. Whenever you slew them, they would seek you and repent. 
they returned and inquired earnestly after you. And they remembered that you were their rock and their redeemer, but their words were mere flattery, and they lied with their tongues. For their hearts were not right, nor were they steadfast in your covenant. But you, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. Many a time you turned away your anger and did not stir up your wrath. For you remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes away and comes not again. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear my law, O my people. Listen to the words of my mouth. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 19. The Testimony of John the Baptist This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. And then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Make straight the way of the Lord. As the prophet Isaiah said, Now they had been sent from the Pharisees, and they asked him, Why then are you baptizing, if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet. John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the throng of his sandal. And this took place in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill and Ken, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful ministers, servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the mercy of God community, for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for St. Peter's parish, for the unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and Paul and Donald and Hillary, and for all the leaders of this nation, city and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who has begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire, Benedict and Mary Magdalene and James and Peter, and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Beloved God, have compassion on us, and forget that we defied you. Forgive us our sins and grant us your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.